So we're here at VITU in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Kyu Myung Lee, who's one of our key contributors to our standards work in IoT, smart cities, trust, and future networks. He's also the chairman of our newly formed focus group on data processing and management. Kyu Myung, welcome, and thank you very much indeed for joining us here today. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's my pleasure. So let's talk about IoT, the Internet of Things. Um, why is IoT important in the context of smart cities and communities? Right, so actually when we started to focus on Internet of Things technologies, we mainly concentrate on connectivity issues. So uh, while doing various kind of connectivity to humans and uh, devices, most important is how we provide various kind of applications. The smart city environment is really good things to provide individual applications with uh, different domains, such as transportation, healthcare, various kind of uh, different uh, devices environment with uh, utilities. And what are some of the artificial intelligence applications that have the most uh, potential to support smart cities and communities? Yes, yeah, so when we consider the various kind of applications for smart cities, we mainly concern how we provide intelligence for smart. So in this regard, AI techniques is really important to provide human-like applications. It's because a human has a brain. However, individual devices, there's no particular capabilities to think and uh, predict and uh, making decisions. So AI can significantly contribute to provide human-like these kind of applications. And you know, when we discuss uh, AI and IoT, um, very naturally we start talking about data as well. Um, how important is the role of uh, data processing and management, and what are some of the benefits that it might bring to uh, government or industry or academia, for example? Yes, yeah, so far we mainly concerned the various kind of uh, artificial intelligence techniques. In order to develop this kind of uh, techniques, data is a kind of uh, resources. So without having data, we cannot process anything to support artificial intelligence. So in this regard, data is a really important requirement. And then based on the data processing, we need to provide very significant impact to various kind of different stakeholders, including service providers, data owners, and in some cases consumers, including policy and government stakeholders. Okay, and um, I also know that you're one of the key contributors to our work uh, in enabling uh, trust in ICTs. Uh, well, what is the importance of this work, and what is the relationship between IoT, AI, and trust? Yes, so Paul, whenever we develop certain new applications, we mainly concern how we provide certain new features. This kind of new features is a, a really, really important to provide a certain benefits or convenience to the humans. However, always there are certain risky environments, certain particular threat. So in this regard, while developing various kinds of new technologies, we always make sure to ensure various kinds of a trustworthy environment. In this regard, this is a really important aspect whenever we develop certain new technologies. It's really similar concerns regarding security and privacy. So trust is also one of the key factors to commonly consider when we develop certain new technologies. Are, are there any key upcoming uh, meetings or activities that you would highlight in the next few months? Yeah, currently ITU is highlighting artificial intelligence. In this regard, coming months, we have a good event regarding the forum on IoT and artificial intelligence, which will be held in Argentina. And then there will be one more good event regarding AI for good. Actually, last year we held this event first time. This year we continue this event. And the one more event is Telecom World. So this event is a good opportunity to see recent progress and the emerging technologies. Okay, Kyu Myung, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for your time and wish you all the best of luck and success with your meetings on AI, your focus group, and all, all the different areas of work that you're involved with. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.